Welcome back to Venom Motorsports. So what we're gonna be doing today is I'm gonna show you how to check the fuse um, on top of the controller. It's, uh, it's a bit of a gem to get to, but I'm gonna show you how to get to it. Uh, we'll be able to um, get the fuse up and out. You're not gonna need uh, a ton of tools. Okay, for tools, all you're gonna need is a number five Allen key. And uh, we're gonna take the rack off the back of this one. Um, this rack, don't mind it, you'll never see another one like it. This is one, uh, we didn't have a rack for it. And uh, it came in and I just made one. I just uh, jumped on the welder there and uh, pounded out a rack for it. So it's gonna look a little bit different than the original racks on the Grizzlies. I, like I said, I literally made this one. So uh, after that, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get this off. Um, and then we're going to take our seat off, take some bolts out um, because we want to lift the body. The easiest way to get to the controller on this is to get through the back. So we're going to take all of this off, not quite off, but we're going to be getting it to a point where we can lift it up. Um, and the fuse is literally right here underneath the tank, uh, if it was a gas tank. But um, directly underneath there is where the controller is, and underneath that is where that fuse is. So. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get down to there. So I'm just gonna get camera place. I'll grab my tools and uh, let's get started. All right. So I'm gonna take the back rack off. Taking the back rack off for you will be the same. Um, you'll just have to take off two bolts or four bolts. I have to just take off these two because I didn't drill the holes here yet. I just marked them there now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Just go ahead, like I said, take off your uh, your rack, and you just have to take bolts off on both sides. Take this one off too. Uh, underneath and grab the seat latch. Pop that off. Then we're going to come over to this side. And you don't have to take, like I said, the whole body off, but we are going to take off all the, the five mil bolts from the top. So the ones at the back there, there's two, and then there's one just a little farther up front right here. Let's get my gloves on. And then we'll get started. Now I, I keep a five mil on a driver, because it's a lot easier. I use my five mil a lot, but you can use a five mil Allen key to do the same things what I'm doing. Keep something to keep your bolts so they're not all over the place. And we have to get this one. Underneath that one, there's a nut. You can just usually get the nut started out and then just hold it while you unscrew it, take it off. If it has a locking nut on it, you're gonna have to use a 10 mil this one doesn't okay so all our top bolts are out so now we're gonna come down here now I'm gonna remove and uh, be removing the whole footwell because I want to take this battery out there's an issue with the battery but on yours you don't have to take the battery out um, so the easiest way to just do it just to get to the, the fuse is we're gonna take out all these 
and I'll do it on this side to show you. And then the other side, you can do by yourself. Okay, now we got just this uh, bolt here, and then there's a one, the two 13s on the bottom. And of course, I didn't grab a 13 mil socket, so that would have been way too smart. So I'm gonna grab that right now, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I got my 13 mil. If you find your bolts are really hard to take out, I'll show you why, and it's nothing bad. So, if you notice, there's orange paint on the end of that bolt, and when they painted, or when they put it together, there was still paint in the bolt hole, and that's what made that bolt really tight. So I took out my bolt on this side, so I got both bolts out, and you'll notice this bolt's the same, it's got orange paint on it, because like you said, they were, the frame was painted and then uh, they just put the bolts in. So we're gonna put that off to the side. Now, what I want you to do is go to the other side, do the exact same thing. Um, I'm gonna do that on this one, I'm, but I got, um, you guys don't need me to show you. Like I said, it's the exact same process. So I'm gonna go to the back and uh, let's see where the, get the other side off and then we're gonna get the body lifted. All right, so I got the other side off. So now, if you notice, your body is just loosey-goosey here. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift it up. And you're going to have to use something to just prop it up. I always use my flashlight because I end up using my flashlight so I can see right inside there. Now, if we look, I'm going to drop down so you guys can all see. Get the camera in a position where we're going to be looking for. Right there. Let's see if we can come down just a little bit more. And there's the top of the controller right there. So the fuse that I'm talking about is right, we're gonna disconnect that, but is right there. See right where my finger is? There's a little black fuse right there. On this side, you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. On that side, you're gonna need an eight mil, or, or sorry, a five mil uh, ra or, um, uh, uh, Allen key. Um, and when we take that power wire off, we gotta think that's live. So we're gonna wanna wrap that with black tape uh, before we just um, take that. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna check for continuity uh, on that fuse to see if it's good. And then uh, we can put everything back together. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna actually put everything back together. Well, actually I, I am, but I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect both wires uh, because I wanna take the battery out at the same time so actually we'll just do that all together so like i said we're going to need that black tape to wrap that red wire once we take it off um so i'm going to take it off first that's going to be my first one that i take off now before i take that off you want to disconnect your uh, plug for your battery gauge and it's right here and your battery gauge is going to be a black and red wire and it plugs into a red white and green wire right here coming out of the wiring harness. So now that that's disconnected, <clears throat> we can go ahead and we can take our number five and we can go ahead and take out 
our power wire. This is our power wire right here. I'm on it. I just want to loosen it off. And you gotta, like I said, no joking guys, there's a lot of current going through this battery. So if you let this power wire go, now I can do it with my fingers. But if you let this power wire go and it touches anywhere on this controller and then it's gonna give a mighty zap. <clears throat> you gotta think every one of the batteries in here in this battery box are 12 volts. So that's basically what you have in your car and there's four of them. So you line them all up and you're gonna get a good discharge on it. I've almost blown a hole in my thumb, so you want to be careful with it. Once you got it off, just hold it up and hold it in your fingers. It won't hurt you in any way. I wouldn't do this with wet fingers or nothing. Like, don't sit there in your wet bare feet and do this, because then uh, you're going to get an awful surprise. But if you uh, have rubber sole shoes on, you can hold on to the wire. So I'm going to actually take this one all the way down past the frame and down here to the bottom. I'm just holding it down here at the bottom. I'm gonna give it a quick wrap with some black tape. Just to make sure it can't touch anywhere. Just like that. And then I can let it go. It's not gonna harm anything. And now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to also take off my ground cable. So my ground cable is right on the other side, exact opposite on the other side as the red one. So we can take that off too and then our, both our battery wires are going to be down and out of the way. And I'm showing you this because I'm going to take the battery out and you can learn both. We can take the battery out and we can check the fuse on top of the controller. Okay, now I can, whoa, goodness. I can probably get that on my fingers now. Yep. Okay, and always put your bolt back in on the controller. Okay, now we'll go down to the all right. Ground wire, pull it down. It's out of the way too. Now, all I need to get is uh, is my uh, Phillips, and you're gonna need a, a stubby Phillips. It's just gonna make it easier. that other bolt back in <clears throat> it's easier if you put the leave the bolt in while you take it out so the fuse doesn't spin around in circles there we go here we are so this is our fuse i'm going to put the two bolts from that so this is our 40 amp fuse right here so i'm going to show you how to check continuity so if we can tell if there's power it's going through this to this you will need um, um, some sort of a multimeter to check for continuity. And you'll see right there, it says 40 amp. It's a 40 amp fuse. And it's about uh, an inch and a half to two inches long. And this one, this one, if you notice, it's got some rubber sealant on it. That's because we seal our... Uh, our controllers and it got some of it on it so now I'm gonna go get my multimeter and uh, we'll come back and we'll test it okay so I got my multimeter here and if I check this and all you have to do is put your ground on one side and your power on the other don't mind my I broke my probe off and let's check and yeah this is getting continuity and my don't worry my multimeter is a little messed up but you'll see what I'm talking about so you see it's just marking zero. 
or one there, but as soon as I touch, it shows me the power is going through. Back to one, touch again. So I know power is running through that just by my multimeter. My poor multimeter. I'm gonna need one of those. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so we know that this is fuse is good. So if you check continuity, this fuse is good. Uh, you can put it right back in. Uh, if it's blown apart, something usually catastrophic has happened. Um, a good indication of this blowing apart is if uh, water gets inside the controller. Uh, usually one of the first things it'll go is it'll blow this. Not necessarily, but sometime, most times it'll blow this first. So I can go ahead and I can put this one back in. It's the same process to put it back in. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rip this battery out now. We're gonna uh, look at our batteries here. So I'm gonna get the battery pack out. Get the battery pack out. Just take the Velcro straps off, just like that. Like that. Just fold them all over the top. So I jammed a bit. Now, <clears throat> um, this battery is heavy. Uh, there's a lot of big batteries in there. So what you have to do is take it out the front, lift up, turn like that so it's turned out. Let it kind of slide down a tiny bit so you get the handles. Handle one, handle two, lift out, and down. And that's how you take the battery out. So I'm going to leave the battery out, like I said, but we can go ahead and we can put uh, everything back together, um, except for that. So we can put the fuse back in. Um, we get our wheel wells back on. Uh, I'm not going to put the power wire back on, obviously, because the battery is left out. But I can put we can put the fuse back on. So the fuse, all you have to do is put that uh, Phillips screw back in. And you can put also your other bolt in, but you don't have to tighten it. So, let's get the camera back up again so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Fire here. I'm going to be right there, so we'll take our fuse. Yeah, see, it keeps turning when I'm turning it with it. So usually I take the other bolt, I'll put it up in its hole too, and it's not moving around. There we go. Just like that. I get my screwdriver and tighten it in. Uh, like I said, I don't have to tighten in that bolt just yet because I'm going to be putting my wire back on it. But I do want to. Uh, I do want to tighten down the, this Phillips one. There we go. So that's on nice and tight. So now what we can do is we can take our flashlight out or whatever you use to prop up your, uh, your body. We can drop that down. Back up. And down we go. Now, I put the body back in place. It's not very hard. Actually goes in pretty good. Our dish of bolts is up here. Now the best bolts to uh, put in first are the first ones you took out. And they don't have any nuts with them. And they're usually a tiny bit longer. So these bolts here, I'm gonna put them in right here. And if we just put those in, on my driver again. If you put those in, it'll stop the body from moving around and it's all, the, the bolts are already back in where these ones belong. So 
goes right in. And then there's another one usually that goes right here and it has the nut on it, remember? So we can put that in. There we go. And don't forget also to plug in your plug for your uh, your battery uh, gauge right here. Again, it goes from a red and black. The red and black plugs into a red, white, and green. So there's a green on one side and a red, white, and then on the other side, it's red and black. Um, and it's like I said, but I'm not gonna be putting the, the battery wire back on, so I don't wanna plug that back in just yet. So now uh, we can go to the other side, cause I'm gonna put the, the foot well on the other side because I take the battery out of this side, so I'm gonna put it back in after I'm done. Uh, doing the work on that. So, I'm gonna get my camera into a better position and we'll get that the other footwell on. Okay, so to put the footwell on, the best and easiest way is when you grab it, you'll see that there's two tabs on the inside, right here and here. They line up with the two tabs on the body, here and here. So when you put it on, that's the first thing I do, is line up them tabs to make sure that the body is gonna hold there in that one place. And then I just let it fall to the floor because, yeah, no, I usually don't do that. So there we go. So now I know it's in the body. I can go ahead and put more of my bolts in here. And of course I didn't take any of the nuts off because that would have been way too convenient. I'm just going to put the middle one in here. And then I'm going to put the middle one in on this side. And it popped right out of the body, of course. So I'm going to do that. And try to get that back in there. There we go. Oh, no. Dirty. Not that one's in, I want to put that back one in so it stops moving around. And that one, I'm actually going to tighten. So I don't want it to pop out of that body anymore. I want it to stay together. Now I can put all my bolts in. Now that that is done, like that. Now I can put my 13 mil bolts in on the bottom, way down there. Here's my 13 mils. And now you're gonna find something out. The holes might not look like they actually line up, but you just have to maneuver everything around until you catch the bolt hole. And... Just like that.
Perfect. All right, and now um, you just have to put your back rack on. I'm not gonna put the back rack back on this one because I wanna drill a couple holes in it uh, for my back bolts. And now I'm gonna go work on my battery. So guys, that's uh, pretty well the video. Uh, hopefully you liked it, like and subscribe, and uh, hope to see you back at the workshop.